It feels like my year can't get any worse and it's only January. <sighs> hey guys, uh, this is not clickbait. I'm going to be so raw in this video because I have really, really bad news. It affects me tremendously. So my channel has been completely demonetized. I um, told y'all not too long ago that uh, my grandma has passed away. And now getting this news is like, wow, now you're hitting me with my job, basically. So out of nowhere, I get this email yesterday where I've been told your channel has been demonetized. You can no longer monetize any of your videos, which affects me so much, guys. It's really scary. I'm really like worried about what's going to happen. Like I'm stressing out because I do this now as a full time job, which means I make money off of YouTube and I am no longer going to be able to. So my only other source of income is Patreon. The majority of you are only on YouTube, which is completely fine. I'm not obligating you to support me on Patreon, but because only a few of you, you know, support me there, uh, that's not enough for me. And with this big change, I might not be able to continue. Like this is completely out of my hands because I'm, how do I have a roof over my head? How do I have food? Do you know what I mean? I knew I took a risk when I went full time, but I didn't think it was because I was going to get demonetized. The risks were always just, will I make enough? Will you guys continue to watch? Stuff like that, but never because YouTube would just go against me. Just completely demonetize my channel. They have an appeal option. I appealed it and my appeal was rejected. It seems like they didn't even take it seriously. They had me create a whole video explaining why they should review. And I did. And I just got an email stating, thank you for taking part in the appeal program, but we can't. Like, it's still going to be demonetized. And this is what I see on my end when I log into my YouTube. Your channel remains ineligible for monetization. And the reason they're telling me this is because I use someone else's content and that is just incorrect yes i use content when it comes to reaction videos but i don't make money off of that i don't try to make money off of that i never have taken ownership of that and i can show you this is an example in one of my reaction videos you can see it's claimed by hype on behalf of big hit music and that's completely fine because those are reaction videos where I show the full video, play the full song, and the money for those videos go to Hype and Big Hit. Rightfully so. I don't claim these as mine. I'm talking about everything else. As far as video essays, commentary video, explanation videos, update videos that I do. All of those, they're claiming that I'm using people's content. And as you all know, that's incorrect. When I do, they are second long clips and then I narrate over them or I'm on camera explaining what is being shown on screen for you guys. And that is completely transformative. That is original content. I am not taking videos from other people's channels or from anywhere else and just pasting them on my channel. That's just copyright violation. And that's not the issue here. It's not even copyright. I spoke to a partner support representative and they even stated, oh, no, it doesn't have to do with copyright. It's just that you're using people's content. I didn't know there was a difference. It sounds like the same to me, but I don't agree with this, guys. And because I've been told that my appeal was rejected, now I have to wait 90 days. That is three months until I can reapply for monetization. So that is three months. And that's not even where it ends. That's just applying if I do reapply, I have to wait at least a month to see if I qualify again. So that's a total of four months, at least four months that I would have to be waiting. So that would be until like May that I'll be able to know if I can monetize my channel 
again. And for this reason, I am asking for your help. I know a lot of you may be saying like, Jose, just get a job. And you know what? That's probably going to happen. That's probably like, that's like the first thing that I've been seeing. I'm already looking at what can I do, you know, for work, because right now I'm just not making anything on YouTube and I won't be for the next possible four months. And this is where you come in. I'm asking if you could please help me by emailing YouTube, asking for them to review and reconsider this. I have written out an email that you can use and you just simply say, sign it with your name, asking them to reconsider. I had an issue not too long ago, either last year where my channel was in jeopardy of being terminated. And it's because of your help guys that they completely resolved it. They took away all the strengths. My channel is no longer at risk at being terminated. And I'm not talking about that here either. I don't want you to get it confused. It's not that my channel's going to go away. It's a big chance that I'm going to go away. I'm not going to be able to do this anymore. And I don't want that. Here is the email that I have written out that I will leave in the description below where you can just simply copy, paste, and put your name, sign it where it says your name. The email address that I would like you to send it to is yt-partner-support at google.com. For whatever email server you use, if you could please input in the CC section, copyright at youtube.com. I want to get this to the correct team and maybe one of these two will listen. And the email reads as follows with the subject line, Jose Ochoa TV channel monetization, YouTube creator support, Jose Ochoa's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash Jose Ochoa TV has recently been demonetized without a valid reason. He has been doing YouTube since 2013. He now does it as a full-time job and this will impact his life tremendously. There was no warning of any kind leading up to this. He's been advised that the reason is because he uses other people's content, which is incorrect. He creates a variety of videos ranging from reaction videos, video essays, commentary videos, explanation videos on the musical group BTS. When it comes to reaction videos, he does not claim the content or make money from them, which is completely fine because the owner of the content, Hype Big Hit Music, claims them without issue. What is being incorrectly labeled as reused content is everything else. He creates video essays, commentary videos, explanation videos on the musical group BTS using his own footage. He records himself on camera and or his voice for narration. When he uses content from other videos, they are second long clips to show what he is talking about on screen. The videos are original and or transformative. I, as a subscriber and viewer of his channel, ask that you or the correct team escalate this to be reviewed again so that he is able to monetize his channel again. Best regards. And that's where you would sign it with your name. If you could please do this, I would greatly appreciate it. I do believe that power is in numbers. You guys helped me in the past and I think you guys can help me again. I've tried everything and they just rejected me again and again. The only other thing is if you are able to, you do not have to guys. If you just want to help me out by sending the email, I completely understand. But if you are able to, and you want to right now, Patreon is the only thing I have going on where I can actually do this for a living. And my Patreon is patreon.com slash Jose Ochoa TV. And for as low as $2 a month, you get extra content for your support. And of course, you're supporting me to continue. So if you are able to greatly appreciate it, guys, I will also leave a link in the description below. I will keep you updated, guys, if I get any information. But if nothing happens, don't be surprised if you don't see much action on my channel. As you can understand, I would have to start doing something else. But yeah, thank you guys. And until next time, adios.